Hi everyone, I'm Karishma Santani. I grew up in a household where we witnessed domestic violence and abuse. It was a very scary period in our lives. It was a very dark period. However, I am very blessed to say that I had a very strong mother in my life. She worked really hard to raise three of us and bring food to the table. She's been the beacon in my life and the hope of light for me. I was educated in the local education system. I went to St. Mary's and obviously because of what was happening at home, it was very difficult for me to focus at school. So I obviously was failing. Now, I never wanted to come home and tell my mom that I was failing. So I would come home and I'd be like, yeah, mom, I did really well in my exam. And that happened over and over again uh, until my mother got a call from my school. And she was asked to come in to see the, the principal and the teachers to only find out that I'd made 25%, got 25% in basically almost all my subjects. It was at that time that a teacher in my school, in my high school, told my mom that I had no future. And you can only imagine what must have gone through in her mind and her heart that her daughter would never make it in life. She was really scared because she didn't want me to have a similar or the same kind of life that she did. She strongly believed because she was not educated that she landed up in the kind of position that she was in. And she definitely didn't want that for me. And so with that, I was asked, I was given two choices. I was given a choice to repeat Form 3 or to leave the school. So when I had to repeat Form 3, I reached a point in life where I started questioning myself. And I remember the conversations I used to have with my mother. I don't remember my mom ever raising her voice at me. Instead of raising her voice, she would sit with me, feed me and cry. And she'd talk to me and she'd say, Krishma, I don't want you to land up in a position like me ever. And that's why I need you to be educated. That's my only mission. I strongly remember after that conversation, I started taking keen interest in my education. I no longer failed. My grades were getting better, but they weren't at their best. In my final years of high school, I wanted to obviously go to university. I wanted to pursue my education. But what that meant for us was we needed to borrow. We needed to take a loan. My mother was the support. She agreed and she went and she took a loan. I went to university for one year. And when I was there, I remember my mom calling me one day and she just seemed very down. She didn't tell me what was going on, but she just mentioned that she felt a lot of pressure. So I took a step back and I took six months off and really asked myself, what do I want from life? And so I found a job. It was by far one of the worst jobs I ever had. But what it did was it gave me the finances to A, clear my loans and B, continue studying. And I registered in some certification courses and diploma courses at the HKU space. I also did additional research to look into other courses that may not necessarily have been a conventional way to education. And that included things like NLP and career coaching. That's when I started to understand what lifelong learning was. I took a different turn in my life. Lifelong learning is a mindset. It's about finding what is out there that you can do to upskill and uplift your own self. One of the many organizations that I have worked with for a very long time is the Satya Sai International Organization. Being part of this organization, I learned about giving back to the community. I learned about street sleeper charity events. And today, with my mom, we do this practice every month. Every month, we cook food and we pack bags of food and utilities that we go out and we give on the streets. Today, I'm in a space where my mom is my number one focus. I want her to be able to live the life that she deserves, the life that she gave me 
the support that she gave me when the whole world turned their backs on us. We were the poor cousins. We were the poor family. Today, it brings a smile on my face when I see and when I say, my mom is no longer that poor cousin. The path of education, continuous professional development and training took me from poverty, from debts, and from very bad low paying jobs to eventually starting my own events company and then being headhunted for a role in a global investment bank. Today, I have led multiple senior roles in various international banks. I am a public speaker and philanthropist, giving back to my family and supporting those in need. Education has been the key to unlock this potential and has led to my financial independence and professional success. I am Karishma Samtani. Thank you.